Conditional formatting is the term given to Excel's capability to dynamically change the formatting of a value cell or range of cells based on a set of conditions you define. Conditional formatting adds a level of visualization that allows you to look at your Excel reports and make split-second determinations on which values are good and which ones are bad simply on formatting. Conditional formatting is flexible, applying specified formatting only when certain conditions are met. By applying conditional formatting to your data, you can quickly identify variances in a range of values with a quick glance. It allows you to automatically apply formatting such as colors, icons, and data bars to one or more cells based on the cell value. Thanks to the many predefined scenarios that Excel offers, you can apply some basic conditional formatting with a few clicks of a mouse. First of all, you'll need to create a conditional formatting rule. In our example, we have a worksheet containing two tables, one with monthly sales data and one with yearly sales. Suppose that the sales goal is 110 per month, so we'll create a conditional formatting rule for any cells containing a value higher than 110. Here are the steps. Select the cells for the conditional formatting rule. Go to the Home tab, click on Conditional Formatting, a drop-down menu will appear. Highlight Cells Rules, Top Bottom Rules, Data Bars, Color Scales, and Icon Sets. Hover the mouse over the first selection, which is the Highlight Cells Rules. The thing to remember about these scenarios is that they work much like an if-then-else statement. That is to say, if the condition is met, then the cell is formatted, and if the condition is not met, the cell remains untouched. Select the desired rule from the menu that appears. In our example, we want to highlight cells that are greater than 110. Choose the greater than scenario. A dialog box will appear. In this dialog box, the idea is to define a value that will trigger the conditional formatting. Either type the value or reference a cell that contains the trigger value and then use the box's drop-down menu to specify the format that you want to be applied. We'll enter 110 as our value. Select a formatting style from the drop-down menu. In our example, we'll choose green fill with dark green text and then click the OK button. The conditional formatting will be applied to the selected cells. Now it's easy to see which salespeople reach the 110 sales goal for each month. The benefit of a conditional formatting rule is that Excel automatically reevaluates the rule every time a cell is changed. To avoid overlapping different conditional formatting scenarios, you may want to clear any conditional formatting that you have previously applied before applying a new scenario. To clear conditional formatting for a given range of cells, select the cells and select conditional formatting from home tab of the ribbon. There you can find the Clear Rules selection. Click Clear Rules and select whether you want to clear conditional formatting for the entire sheet or only the selected workbook. Now we'll use conditional formatting to create data bars for the second table. Data bars are horizontal bars added to each cell, much like a bar graph. Using the data bars conditional formatting option can sometimes serve as a quick alternative to creating a chart. The length of the bar is based on the value of the cell relative to the other values in the range. When you adjust the column width, the bar lengths adjust accordingly. When the bar is wider than the differences among the bar lengths, they are more prominent, so it's better. First of all, select the range and from the Home tab, click the Conditional Formatting button. Choose Data Bars and select one of the Fill options. And we have created a chart directly in a range. You don't have to use one of the predefined scenarios offered by Excel. Excel gives you the flexibility to create your own formatting rules manually. Creating your own formatting rules helps you better control how cells are formatted and allow you to do things that you wouldn't be able to do with predefined scenarios. For additional choices, click the More Rules option, which displays the new formatting rule dialog box. From this dialog, you can show only the bar without the numbers, specify minimum and maximum values for the scaling, change the appearance of the bars, and many more. It's worth taking some time to understand how this conditional formatting rule works. Thanks for watching.